In this video, I'm going to talk about what you absolutely must do right now if you are 60 years old and have no savings. Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt! One of my favorite movies in the entire world is called Up in the Air with George Clooney. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It was recommended for six Oscars, six Golden Globes. In fact, it took the Golden Globe for best screenplay. It's that good. George Clooney plays a corporate downsizer. In fact, he's one of the best in the game. And he does this during the week. On the weekend, he is a famous author promoting his book called What's in Your Backpack. The book examines the stuff that we all want in our lives. The house that has to be bigger than the neighbor's house. The car that has to be faster than your best friend's car. The job that has to be a little bit cooler than your brother or sister's job. You get the point. And to cut to the chase, because it's extremely relevant here, George Clooney demonstrates that all of that stuff doesn't make anyone happy. In fact, the weight of having to achieve all of that, the financial weight, the emotional weight, is something that weighs on most people. And his book examines in detail how much that weight is. And he calls that weight, what's in your backpack? What are you carrying around? Outside of that fictitious book, outside of the movie, in real life, stuff generally doesn't make us happy. It makes us happy-ish the day we buy it, maybe even for a few days. But in the long run, you often spend a lot of money on things that end up in your drawer. But the weight of having to buy that stuff, the money that you had to spend or go in debt to secure that item or the items, weighs on you for a long, long time. Not having what you want doesn't make people less happy. But not having what you need makes people extremely unhappy. This is the single most important piece of advice I would give anyone who is 60 years old and has no savings. In fact, I would give the same advice to a millionaire, a billionaire. And that is, it's not the stuff in your life that will make you happy. Beyond a certain point, there's what's called the law of diminishing utility, which means that you enjoy it less and less the more and more you spend. By the way, before I forget, make sure you click subscribe and notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video, I post about twice a week. All right, back to the video. So at 60, with no savings, job number one is to cut back on all of the spending except for what you really need, noting that most of that stuff isn't going to make you happy in the long run anyway. That takes care of a small part of the problem. Let me show you what you really need to do to make what lies ahead work. First, you need to build some reserves and you need to do it now. So we're going to start living as if you're already in retirement on a much lower income. Let me explain. Let's assume that you make $22.50 an hour. That's $45,000 a year. By the way, all of the numbers that I'm giving you work whether you make $10 an hour, $20 an hour, or $100 an hour. You just scale what I'm going to show you up or down accordingly. According to bankrate.com, at $45,000 per year, your social security payment would be approximately $1,968 at age 65. And your social security payment would be $2,271 if you waited until full retirement age. In this case, we're going to assume that's age 67. By the way, if you're 60 years old with no retirement savings, the longer you wait to retire, the better off you're going to be. Not only will you be taking an income longer, but you'll be able to save more using the method that we're going to talk about in just a moment. And of course, as noted earlier, your social security payment is going to be higher. Regardless, don't plan on retiring until age 65. The math just doesn't work. And frankly, you don't qualify for Medicare until age 65, and you don't want to retire without health insurance. As far as the increase in social security, every year past age 62, your social security payment goes up between five and 8% per year. The longer you wait, the larger the increase becomes. If you wait until age 70, then your social security payment is 77% higher than if you took it at age 62. By the way, before we get into the rest of this video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. YouTube uses the number of likes to drive a video up in the search results, and I wanna help as many people as possible. Okay, now back to the video. But here's the other point. Every year that you wait to retire, 
is an extra year. You don't have to draw on your savings, social security, and it's an extra year that you have to actually put money away for your retirement. So in other words, you get two years of financial benefit for every extra year you work. Let's stay with age 65 for a moment. At age 65, assuming you're earning $45,000 a year, your monthly pay is $37.50. Your social security payment, if you drew social security and stopped working, would be $1,968. The difference between the two is $1,782. So take a really hard critical look at your life and ask yourself, if you had to right now, could you reduce your spending by $1,782 per month? For most of you, the answer is no. If you haven't built savings by now, this means that your costs have come up to meet your income. My guess is that a lot of people watching this video might actually be in debt, maybe even deep in debt. That's the subject of the next video. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. So you have a couple of choices. Choice one is to spend the next few years figuring out how to reduce your costs. This might include paying off your home. This might include paying down your debt. It might include working with your family members so that they are carrying more of the expenses that you're paying for that really belong to them. There are a lot of ways to do this, but frankly, that's a big bridge to span. The second choice, one that I think would be much more palatable for most people, probably you as well, is for you to develop a part-time income stream that you can actually take with you into retirement when you actually start drawing on social security and say goodbye to your full-time job. And to be super clear here, you're looking for a part-time income stream that pays about $1,782 a month. That's the difference between what you'll receive in social security and what you make currently. By the way, working full-time at $45,000 a year or whatever your current income is and having a second income stream of $1,782 affords you the opportunity to actually start saving for the next few years so that you've built a nice nest egg by the time you turn 65 or 67 or 70. Many people in retirement find that a part-time job gives them not only the additional money, but also a different type of job satisfaction. One where they feel a lot more freedom. They're not beholden to a job where they have to pay the bills because they have to pay for college and they have to pay off their mortgage. Part-time jobs in retirement, by definition, have a lot less pressure on the retiree. Whatever the case may be, you're overdue preparing for retirement and there's no chance or virtually no chance for most people that they'll be able to make the jump from 3750 per month to 1968 per month without some radical downsizing of their lifestyle. Some people have moved to Mexico or Chile, other countries that are wonderful and far less expensive, but that's a different video than the one we're talking about here. So here's what you need to do. In my humble opinion, work like heck to develop the skills necessary for the second stream of income. This may take 20 hours, it may take 200 hours, but there are a lot of sites like Upwork where you can go and see what jobs they post. And Upwork, by the way, has over 8,000 new listings a day. And most of what they're looking for are things that you can learn relatively quickly. PowerPoint, Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, other types of work where you work with your hands. If you look at Upwork, there are a lot of options there. But the bottom line is you need to develop the skills now while you still have time so that you can take those skills with you into retirement and start early building your second stream of income. And as I mentioned before, a lot of those jobs will require additional training. Most of the training, especially if it's digital product training, you can learn for about $20 on Udemy. Take a course on Udemy and then you're good to go on sites like Upwork. Also Fiverr.com is another one just like that. I'll post a link in the description below to both of those so that you can check them out yourself. So now go to Upwork.com, fill out your profile and start building your client base one job at a time. Before you know it, you'll have a loyal following. And frankly, you may even be able to take 
those skills offline and offer yourself to others in your community in the real world for more money. The better you get, obviously, the more you're going to be able to charge for the work that you do. One last point before I go, if you haven't done so already, go to my website, holyschmidt.com forward slash checklist and download the retirement ready checklist. This will help you plan for your retirement in ways that you may not have considered yet. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe and notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video. Finally, for more ideas, check out this video on living on social security alone. This is Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching.